Hey, it is time to wake up. Look, the mark of the beast, and I understand how it's written. I've taken every word back to its origin, looking at the pictographic languages it's written in. The, the bigger picture is this. It's, the mark of the beast is your spiritual condition. It's your spiritual condition. Have you joined yourself to this world and all the things of it? Or have you been joined back to Christ in his covenant, as in our covenant of marriage? Are you married to this world or are you married to Christ? Do you belong to this kingdom, this realm that was given to Satan to rule and reign over for a time? Or are you a member of the kingdom of God by being reborn, spiritually reconnected, grafted back into the main vine of the tree of life? Or are you still connected to this tree of the knowledge of good and evil, this flesh, right, which is the womb by partaking of the fruit, the fruit of the womb, the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's your flesh. It's your flesh. The mark of the beast is your flesh. It's the spiritual condition of your soul. Are you joined to the flesh? Are you joined to the spirit? God is spirit, must be worshipped in the spirit. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus in John chapter 3, I believe, you must be born of the Spirit. Otherwise, you will not see the kingdom of heaven, nor will you enter into it. You must be born again, reconciled spiritually back to God. Because when we're birthed into this world, we are born into death and condemnation. Not born into life, like the churches teach. You have been spiritually separated from God by partaking of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The fruit of the womb, being covered over in flesh. It's your spiritual condition, but we're just watching it being played out right now in the physical realm, this physical kingdom we live in, because the spiritual, the bigger picture, is played out in this physical world. So is it this? Because it says all could be deceived. Even the elect could be deceived. If, if, in, in, aren't, most, aren't most Christians or people that claim to be Christians waiting on some type of uh, permanent mark? And we know that this will lead to it by your pass that you're supposed to get after you get this or that card, right? So you can go to certain places or go to work even, right? And in your right hand or forehead, when you take those words back to your origin, it means it affects your ability to do work with your right. And right hand doesn't mean necessarily your right hand because Christ is placed at the right hand of the Father, right? He sits at the right hand of the Father. He is God's, uh, uh, who God has... Uh, he is God incarnate. He's he's that force, the that personalized force that does carries out God's plan, carries out God's work, plan of salvation, right? He's it's, so it's it's it affects your ability to do work as your right hand, or it means right side. It doesn't necessarily, but could it be something that's permanently injected into your right hand or your forehead? Because some people don't have hands or even arms, for that matter. Yeah, it could be, and we're we're all waiting on that, right? To, to watching it, but it's your spiritual condition. So once you take this, you're you're already joining yourself. You're trying to save your own life. You're deceived. You're deceived. You, you, you've you joined yourself to this world. All those who try to save their lives will lose it. So is this what's actually, could this actually be what's, what's deceiving even the elect? Because I know many, many, unfortunately, people who claim to be Christians, even elderly people who are in their 70s, 80s, even, ah, do I know someone in their 90s? Uh, I don't know if she's in her 90s or not. I know people that have taken this immediately, right away, you know, but yet they've been in, involved in the church and going to church and studying uh, the Bible, you know, their whole life practically, but yet they still took it, right? So could even the elect before. Uh, that's decisions up to you up to you but I know that's no good I mean there's just tons of evidence out there just like many other things that I've spoken about in the videos I've put out so and whether you can see it or not you know like he told Nicodemus you will not see the kingdom of heaven nor will you enter in that which is flesh is flesh that which is spirit is spirit which kingdom have you joined yourself to have you taken on that mark of the beast in on the bigger picture our flesh it's the mark of the beast that's covered us in darkness. And darkness means willfully ignorant. Willf willful ignorance by your own free will. You've chosen to join yourself to it. 
there's that. I, you know, I can't make it any more clear. I wish I could, you know, study, study, study. But you have to learn from God. Only the Spirit of God can reveal spiritual truth to you. So we're just watching it being played out in this physical realm, this physical, physical dimension that we are trapped in right now. And if you know what the world is and you know how the Bible describes the world, how God's Word describes the world, if you can see all these crazy things that are changing all around us, you'll, you know, you got to be led by God. All right, there it is. God bless. God bless. So what is the mark of the beast? It's your spiritual condition. And if you're not reconciled back to God, by the time your physical form passes, or it's time for him to take us up, however he chooses to do that, um, then you belong, you're, you're done. You're, you're going to end up in hell, unfortunately. I hate to say it that way, but that's, that's it. By your own willful ignorance. And I'm no better than anybody else, but I know I hear his voice. I've seen the spiritual side, so he's opened my eyes. And, and you know, I don't know everything. I've still got a lot to learn, but I know that. It's your spiritual condition. And this is just the outward manifestation of it. There it is. All right. Just like baptism, it's an outward manifestation when you're baptized, when you step before everybody saying, I'm not ashamed of Christ. I accept him into my heart. Uh, I want to follow him as my shepherd, as my leader, as the governor of my mind. Right? I want to follow him. It's an outward uh, showing manifestation of your what's occurring inwardly baptized right so there's that same 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 thing you know it's your spiritual condition when you take this it's it means the same thing you know and i know everybody's waiting on that mark and i know it's coming so how can the elect be fooled if they think it's that and they're waiting on it you know i don't know that's on you to decide i'm just throwing it out there it's your spiritual condition it's what it is an outward manifestation of your inwardly spiritual condition have you been reconciled back to God through Christ, his only begotten son? Or have you not been? You reject him. You reject his word. Reject the truth. Because his word is truth. And his word was made flesh in Jesus Christ. No doubt about it. All right. God bless. Have a good one. Bye.